I wanted to share you share with you guys a quick little fix that you may be encountering. I'm currently experiencing this uh, little error here that you've probably seen in a few of my videos. It's showing up every once in a while. It's called it's saying proxy error. Now, um, it's still running. I mean, our uh, on our development server, this is really the issue. It's on the development side. Now, this proxy error has to, has to do with um, because we're in development, React. Uh, our create react on the client side is running its own server but we're also using a second server for node.js so we're, we have these two servers that are running and we're using node man and concurrently to connect them to in a way that allows them to uh, run together now but because we get co uh, cores can be a common issue when working with uh, uh, these two these two technologies, Node.js on the back end and then React. So what we did in the previous, in the past was uh, over here on the client side package.js, if you remember, we set up this property here, this field proxy, and we set up, we allowed it to point to the local host with a port 5000. So this way it can, um, uh, we can resolve that issue, that cores issue. In addition to that, um, I also, uh, on the back end, I have this package called cores. And cores, again, it's cross origin resource sharing. So that's when two domains, uh, it's a way of allowing two different domains to share information. And in our case, we had our two domains, it's, we're running on two different ports. Port 3000 for our React and port 5000 for our backend Node.js. Um, so that's so these were two things that I was doing to try to resolve this. However, I'm still, as you can see here, I still get this proxy error. So if you are experiencing this, I just want to show you something that might resolve it. Okay, but there this could pop up. Um, I mean, I was going through uh, like Stack Overflowing, you know on Google and trying to figure out exactly what the issue was. And there are many people experience that experiences this and it could be due to many different reasons. Okay. So, I mean, my way, it, it, this is what I'm going to show you now. It might not resolve completely for you because again, there's many different way, uh, reasons why it can occur. But again, this is like a development issue. And, um, you know, on the, uh, when, in production, it's completely different, right? Cause you're not running, uh, react is not, uh, running its own, uh, server in addition to like, uh, the Node.js. All right. So that's completely gone, but this is a development issue. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you guys, um, this little, little fix that it might, uh, help you. And all right, so if we go to the package.json for our server side, on the server side, over here we have our scripts, and you can see here I set up node man server.js. Well, over here, what you're gonna do is add a space, and you're gonna do dash dash ignore, and then in in single parentheses within those single parentheses, we're gonna do dot for the current directory and then client forward slash all right so we are saying to ignore the folder here because again this is this package json is here so we're saying to ignore this folder here the client which is all of our react is all of our react so we're saying to ignore it because again react is running it's, it's doing its own little thing to to run it, its server so we don't have to worry about uh, node man um doing anything for it so we can just ignore it all right and of course anytime you make a change inside a package.json you're gonna have to and i'm gonna save this you have to stop the server do control c or uh I'm going to control C on a Mac and then, and then you have to restart the, the server again. So I'm going to NPM run dev. All right. So just make sure that you do that as well. Okay. Um, and that should resolve the issue. And, um, that's my little fix and, um, I'll see you then.